before your lordship takes the proposition before your lordship takes the proposition you know, on, a, on a little light note uh, i'll start but there is a urdu couplet mr uh, dr uh, mr sibal is fond of you know, both of us share that uh, there is a very good urdu couplet on the situation which is arising main chup raha to aur galat fehmiyan badhi this for the court when the court is quiet then we don't understand what is passing in the court's mind main chup raha to aur galat fehmiyan badhi wo bhi suna hai usne jo maine kaha nahi so matlab this is hai usne jo maine kaha nahi wo bhi suna hai usne jo maine kaha nahi main chup raha tha so when your lordship is quiet we remember, we understand that there are 10 points so the matter but wo bhi suna jo maine kaha nahi what we in legal parlance call reading between the lines but the, the 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 those who well those who uh, write shares well they don't write for legal documentation <laughs> they write for some particular person well they, they they write for one individual well that one individual is relevant for them those who write are who is the uh, the author of the couplet ikbal or who is it no well this is wasim barelvi okay. we very fine we do we one of the lord uh, top ranking alive poet who is alive lord contemporary urdu poet by the way uh, mr sibal i don't know if mr tushar mehta whether you've read this book called delhi or delhi which is written by one of our lawyers yes, of the yes. supreme court bar it's yes, a beautiful yes. book called yeah, beautiful yes on a variety of uh, yes. urdu poets yes yes but delhi had that tradition now it's dying unfortunately the best tradition was in lucknow lucknow also i ask people that dying. there's a dying tradition in ilabad also firak gorakhpuri and all malot now now that tradition is fading away i'll not say dying but it it's fading away malot it's it's not but there are young uh, malot the writers so that they write of language malot actually language is taken over and urdu is a dying language as of today that's the that's the reality and that therefore we are losing a lot of that culture that's what it is yes <laughs> 